back to our channel. If you are new here, we are Juan Marcel and Rylan, and today we are coming to you live from our home state, Arizona. Whenever we travel and we do our vlogs from around the world, we always are just so much more excited than when we are back home. And I feel like a lot of you can relate, you know, your hometown will always be like this boring place that you're used to. Yeah. But you can romanticize that place. So we wanted to treat this week's vlog like we would any other vlog from around the world. We want to romanticize our hometown. <laughs> Park Ranger just explained to us it is very hot today mm -hmm. and there's actually two people towards the top who fainted from heat exhaustion. Mm -hmm. Baby, we just started, okay? The parking lot's right there. I don't know if I'm gonna make it up. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to keep up, baby. Come we on. We have 40 minutes to go. <laughs> Give me your hand. I'm gonna beat you to the top. Why do you have the giggles? I think I have elevation sickness. <laughs> oh. I love this part. Oh. It's like legit fun. I know. Oh, they made it just nice for you. Cool. And it's so <laughs> We're almost at the top. I know. I think you made it. <laughs> Wow. Only a little bit of water left, but <laughs> we made it. This is prettier than I remember. So we're going to do a board and we're going to do the brie, apple and fig, sweet and spicy pepper jam, so salami and pesto. And the prosciutto one. Okay, just that for now. For yeah. now, yeah. Okay. We are here at a Arizona Hallmark. Yeah. It's called Postino's. Mm -hmm. And every Monday or Tuesday, they have something called Bottle and Board, which is for $25, you can get a bottle of wine and a board of bruschetta. I don't get how they make a profit on that. <laughs> I know. But you can tell it works. This place is packed yeah. like every day. I've been waiting for this for uh, so long. Almost just went for it without using <laughs> okay, it. Okay, cheers. Yeah, cheers. This is always the best one. Mm -hmm. The salami mm -hmm. pesto. This one. We are finally going to go check out the Van Gogh experience that's mm -hmm. been going on here. It's probably, it's it's been it's in like, a lot of cities. Yeah, it's been in like almost everywhere across America. But we've been out of the country mm -hmm. and they have it here in Scottsdale. So mm -hmm. we're going to go check that out. We'll do medium. Yeah, I'll do medium. medium. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Two mediums. Cheers, baby. Well, cheers that was a me. weird cheer. <laughs> Today we are here at Lux, which is a cafe. It's in downtown Phoenix. Super cool spot. They have great pastries and food. They also have better coffee. The guy was actually showing us like doing some latte art and stuff mm -hmm. when we ordered our coffee. So <laughs> yeah, I just love this spot. I'm always happy to be back here. We're spending the day in Phoenix today and since we are, we wanted to hit the thrifting scene here because it's so amazing and we haven't gone thrifting in a really, really long time. Yeah, super underrated thrifting mm -hmm. scene in Phoenix. Alright, so we're here at Wang's. The vibe in here is crazy. They have like vintage t-shirts, arcade section. They even have 
like collectibles and stuff that you can mm -hmm. buy off the walls. It's so cool. So yeah. we wanted to spend the day here first, see what they got, and we're gonna check out another place right after. So let's do it. So that place was way cooler than we expected. We spent so much longer there than we thought we were going to spend. Oh, yeah. But it just had so much cool stuff and I ended up getting some rare finds. We were planning to go to Buffalo Exchange and bring you guys with us, but that's kind of more of a mainstream thrift shop. I'm sure some of you have seen that. Tonight, it's the first Friday of the month and in Phoenix, every first Friday, they put on a street market with food, art, clothes, things like that. Music, live music and stuff. And it's just a cool event, so we're gonna take you with us for that. excited about this spot if you've been a part of our channel for like a year yeah. or maybe like eight months or so you've definitely seen this before it's Allo cafe we are here at Allo cafe right now it's the best this is actually where we had like our first real date oh yeah that's true it's our favorite breakfast spot in Arizona mm. by far oh yeah as long as nothing's changed so let's yeah. take a bite we have the signature croissant French toast. Which is amazing. And we also got this thing called a bramlet, which the is- The honey herb bramlet. Yeah, brie cheese inside, ham, and, and then honey. honey's like on top of flint. And they serve it with curry ketchup, which you saw Rylan pouring just now. So good, so I'm gonna take a bite. Let's do it. Nothing's changed, it's so freaking good. Hey, the croissant French toast has gotten better. No way. Is that possible? It's gotten better. Wow. I think you just forgot how good this place is. Yeah, I might have. If you're ever in town, in Arizona, definitely check out Alo Cafe. I definitely mm -hmm. want to plug them. It's a, for some reason, not as known spot. It's very local, like, quiet. Yeah, low key. And it deserves more heat, honestly. Mm -hmm. We want to see that for them. Yes. So, check this place out. It's a very sunny, cloudless day. It's hot. So we wanted to have a little pool day. You ready? Mm-hmm. 